Michael, could you tell us a little bit about the, what happens when people are ill uh, and they go to the doctor and they are uh, prescribed an antibiotic, mm -hmm. uh, which you know, is one of the, the miracles of today, I guess, that they're it is. available it is. To, to do things. But what is, what is the effect of that to the system? Well, antibiotics are, are great and important drugs that, that we have available today. Um, you know, millions and countless numbers of people have been saved by antibiotics. But we've come to a place in our production of food and in our medical uh, care where antibiotics are possibly overused and overprescribed. You know, people, they get a little sore throat, uh, they start to feel a little bit sick, and they run to the doctor, and the doctor says, well, I'm not sure exactly what it is. It might be a bacterial infection here have some antibiotics, and they may not even have a bacterial infection. If it's a virus, the, the, the antibiotics aren't going to help. But they take the antibiotics anyway. Mm -hmm. And what happens is a couple of things. One is it's going to kill the bad bacteria if there are any. But it's also going to kill the good bacteria, because most antibiotics we have today are broad spectrum antibiotics. They kill a broad spectrum of different kinds of bacteria. And so while that may, in fact, cure them of the disease that they have, based on that bacterial infection, it's also going to kill the good bacteria in their system. But, but brought on another problem. And so it's important to, to restore that balance of, of good and bad bacteria. We also have a situation today where these bacteria are uh, becoming, these bad bacteria are becoming resistant to antibiotics. And that's due, again, to the overuse of antibiotics. Antibiotics are used on crops, sprayed on crops. They're given to healthy livestock to keep them from getting sick. And so we get all these antibiotics in our food, in our uh, even water. And what's happened is that it's killed off a number of bad bacteria, but it's not in high enough doses all the time to kill them all. So we have a situation where the healthiest bad bacteria are surviving. The strongest bad bacteria are surviving. They're surviving over and over, and now the antibiotics can't kill them anymore. So we have a, a, a situation now where we have lots of bacteria that are becoming resistant to these antibiotics, much harder to kill, and we have a situation where people who take antibiotics are upsetting the balance of good and bad bacteria in their systems. We see examples of, for example, that uh, as you go into the store, all the hand soaps, or many of them, are antibacterial, right. and you know we're washing our counters with antibacterial, right. this and that, and so we're trying to get to, it seems, a, a, a germ-free existence. That's right. But the fact that we were exposed to germs in earlier generations actually is part of what helps to build oh, up our immune system. Absolutely. Uh, we've all been taught by our mothers that germs are bad. You know, we were taught that, well, at least I was taught that when I was little. Mm -hmm. And um, that's really not quite true. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's the exposure to these bacteria, both good and bad, that make us healthier. Mm -hmm. So we have food that is practically sterilized. We have trying to sterilize our environments. But that just leaves room for the extra strong pathogenic or bad bacteria to move in. So we don't have any good bacteria around to keep them under control. So as you, after you've been to the doctor, you've maybe had a bout of something and you've taken some antibiotics, uh, sometimes then you, uh, a little bit of a malaise may continue on That's afterwards right. and you're wondering why am I not That's right. getting over this? It's been, you know, a week, 10 days or more. Mm -hmm. So what can, what, what you, you suggested earlier that that may be as, because of the broad spectrum of the That's right. It's killed off the good bacteria, and we have to find a way to get the good bacteria back in there. Mm 